Hello and welcome to another video by Chadwell Motors. Today we've got for you a BMW 120D M Sport. Uh, this was a 2014 plate. I'm gonna start showing you around the run uh, sorry, I'm gonna start showing you around the body first. <clears throat> so it's been kept really really well. It does have a few um, scratches here and there that I'm gonna try polishing these out, but it does um, I'll see what I can do with this, but it's just got these two scratches here. The gentleman I got the car from set up, well, he parked it <coughs> in Tesco's. <coughs> I think something's uh, brushed past, but um, it's got these nice, uh, I think these are 18 inch alloys, and they're M Sport as well. So it's got these nice 18 inch alloys. <coughs> right, just looking around on this side. Don't see any more scratches. That was the only one there. And it's going around the back. I'm just gonna zoom out a bit so you can see more. So over here, I see another scratch on this side. Over here. And then just one on this side, but I think that can be polished out. So, the rest of the bodywork looks quite good. Don't see anything over here. That's it. So just some very light scratches on this side. And uh, we're back to the start. There's not a lot of stone chips. Maybe just one over here, but the rest, uh, not too many. Um, right, so let's have a look inside the car. It's inside the car, it's all red leather, uh, red leather interior. This one's slightly higher spec than most of the 120Ds that I've seen. Um, I have sold many 120Ds, M Sport and SE versions. First, let's just have a look at the, the engine bay. Just gonna zoom in a bit now. So that's the engine over there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the engine, just have a look at it. So it says bonnets open over there. It does come with two keys and both the keyless. So all you have to do is put your foot on the brake and press the button. All the lights are off. That's what the engine sounds like. I'm gonna uh, high spot it now. So just have a look at the interior. Um, seems alright. I'll have to zoom out. Interior seems alright. There's a black lining on the top. Just gonna have a look at the back as well. You've got tints in the back, in the back window, quite dark, so not very dark, but quite a bit. Um, you've got cup holders in the rear seat, which is quite handy. And then if you need to, like I say, if you've got the skis or something long, then you do have this black portion where two people can sit and then you can have the middle bit down. Because usually what it is is one hole, so it's, it's cut and divided in two pieces. So, so you can have one person, two people sit at the same time. Well, I guess this one you can do that anyways. Over here, you've got um, service history and everything. It's um, it's got decent service history. Uh, sorry, it's got full service history. So. Right, I'm going to start from the beginning. So this one's 60294, 2018. Spent £303, 19. Spent £293. Miles were 64, 478. 69309, 2021. Halford, 
73525 and 2012 2021 at £239. And then, well, MOT 2019, no problems. It's got a really good MOT history. 2020, no problems there. 2021, no problems. And 2022, no problems. However, I didn't notice that uh, one of the tyres was slightly worn. Don't remember which one was it, but we'll just um, get inspected. So just have a look over this on this side as well. I think this tyre is okay. This one's new. I think it's this one that, that looks just like that looks a bit worn out. But that one looks okay. So it's just a front one then. Yeah, the rear ones look okay. I think it's just the front one. So I'll get that sorted out. Now it's time to go for a little drive. I'm just gonna show you the specs of the car. So it's got a speed limiter. It doesn't have a cruise control. It's got a speed limiter. And uh, we've got, well, just a, volume controller and everything it does do quite good um, diesel wise so I'm really good fuel it's 38.3 and I've just I haven't really driven around a lot uh, it's just been standing like this for so long so this one this one's got the sat nav so you've got a USB port there yeah we're all looking at in there auxin and Oh, you got two USB ports. So you got USB port here, and you've got a USB port over there. Let's see if I can zoom into it. Just there. Right. Go menu. Go telephone. So you got Bluetooth as well. Navigation. Because usually these cars don't come with sat navs and um, that. So vehicle information is onboard computer vehicle status so everything's okay service required everything's okay service history so it's got so i'll show you the 18 17 16 15 and this is 2014 so the first bmw service was done so that shows you it's got a full service history um what else can I tell you about the car it's pretty much it really uh it's uh, all the lights are working, all electronics are working. I've only just got the car, so we're going to just check all the windows. This side, I think the only thing this car would have benefited from so this is touchscreen as well. So I'm sliding my finger across, and what else? Oh. By the way, heat seats, of course. Let's just take a picture of that. Right. I think I'll stick to doing my test drive now. So, I've zoomed out. D, break down. This car drives really, really well. Um, nice take off, feels like a BMW. Um, so I mean, feels like a like a powerful BMW. Okay, so 120D. I know, I know, you get 1.6 liter in, uh, 6, 1.6 liter engines, and then um, uh, what's the? Yeah, so you get you get many smaller engines. I mean, this is a two liter. I think it's one of the medium sized engines. The suspension's good. Everything's good. Um, drives well. That's just for the seat belt. So thank you very much for watching the video. I think I went into the second gear, but obviously you'll have to come down and do the test drive yourself. Um, if there's um, any questions you've got, please um, just uh, call us and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you, take care.